Neil here. Another episode. A little early morning episode. Today we're going to do lamps. Not lamps. We're going to do a lamp. That's it. But we have to create two different states of a lamp, like we did with our furnace. Right? One that, uh, one that appears to be on, one that appears to be off. It's pretty straightforward, actually. Um, let's open up our main modding class and get started. Where do we want to put it? Where do we want to put it? Let's do this. Public, static, can't spell, block, block, purple lamp, on. Purple's my favorite color. A favorite, and uh, so we'll just copy and paste this, and then we'll just change it to off. So, block purple lamp on, block purple lamp off. This is actually going to point to the same class, much like our furnace did. Um, uh, we'll put it right down here, right down here. Lamps, and we are going to do uh, block purple lamp on is going to equal new purple lamp and there's a couple of things that we need to put in here um, and I think really all we need to do is just so that on is going to be true <coughs> Maybe we need an integer in there. I don't know. We'll find out. Dot uh, set block name is going to be purple lamp on. We need that in quotes. Whoops. And this one is yeah. You know what? We're gonna leave it as that. I think we'll come back and. Um, We'll come back and do some extra stuff to it, I'm sure. I'm sure. So really what we're gonna do is we're just gonna copy this straight over and we're gonna change this to off. And we're gonna set this to false. And we're gonna tune up our block name to off. But let's also go ahead and set our creative tab. Our creative tab. And this will be Neo Craft tab. Is that right? My son's nerd raging right now. He's playing Pikmin and he lost all of his Pikmin they all died. Of course he like Zerg rushes when he plays, so there we go. Let's create this class. The purple lamp class. We're gonna emulate the uh, the redstone lamp when we do this. So, let's get started. Let's get started. The purple lamp, of course, is going to extend block. And um, let's do an import. Import. And constructor. And it wants the material. Well, what is the material? Oh, well, it'll be glass, right? Well, uh, you know what? I don't think that we need this. I really, really don't. We don't. We don't because I said so. Um, however, we do need a boolean, and this is going to be is on, like so. And we'll just leave our super empty. It doesn't want us to leave our super empty. Ah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what we need to do. Protected purple lamp. Um, we can do mate material dot redstone light. We can just steal that. That will work. Um, so uh, we actually need to 
do one of these. So we're going to do a private. We need to f actually um, gather whether or not the, the Boolean state is true or false, and we need to assign that into a variable that we can use later on in our other methods. So to do that, we're going to do public final Boolean, and we're going to name it the same thing, is on. Is on, and it doesn't like that, and that's because I'm not doing it in the class right there. Um, yeah, let's just do powered because that is what is in. Yeah, 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 yeah. We gotta, we gotta turn it on first. Oh, well, we'll turn it on here in a second. Doi, this dot, I mean, let's do this. Let's change it back to what we had it to be. This dot is on, is going to be equal to is on. So whatever we're pulling, right, from the class over here, whether it's true or false, we're gonna be dumping that in, um, right here and then we're setting the is on variable to whatever the value of that is true or false and that way we can use it in methods later on so um, if I got a sneeze coming where's my clicker there we go um, so we'll say if is on um, then this dot set light did I miss it? Did I just spell it wrong? It's going to be equal to one float and I think that's as high as you can go as one float um, so essentially if this is true if it's turned on the light level is going to come on easy squeezy um, that takes care of that actually um, so what we need to do now is a on block added. So we're going to do public void on block added, and we're going to be calling world. We'll name that world, um, and then we're going to have our chords int x, int y, and int z. And we are going to say import world um, if. Um, the inverse of world, so if the world is not remote, then what we want to do is do a check state. So if this dot is, is on and the world is not, kitty, kiki, I love you, I'm throwing you off my lap all day because I don't fucking want you. If this dot is on and an exclamation point world is block indirectly powered, indirectly getting powered on our uh, sugar, on our X, Y, and our Z. We want to say world dot, oh, come on, dot schedule block update. Excuse me. On, um, let's see here, the X, Y, Z, this will be uh, this, and this will be. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Else if um, we'll move this down so that we can keep it clean. Else if um, and we're actually using the same parameters, they're just flip-flopped so we can grab this right here else if 
paste that right there, but we'll put our inverter in front of this and we'll take it off of that. Then, what do we do? We will say world.set block and we need one, two, three, four, five, six. We need that one. And this will be on our X, on our Y, on our Z. And what we need to do is we need to get the active version of the lamp that we're going to use. So we're going to say Neocraft dot block purple lamp on dot zero dot two. Easy squeezy. Let me do 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 do. This is my my testing phase render alloy smelter. You guys will see that soon enough. Don't you worry your pretty little heads about that. Um, I want to make sure that I have this that I have this configured right. Um, so bear with me a moment. Here's a word from our sponsors. Um, yeah, that's right. That's right. I'm not crazy. I am crazy. I'm just not that kind of crazy. So we're going to go down one, two, three braces. We're going to do another class, and this one is more or less, this is going to let it know when its neighbor changes. Um, uh, this is more or less uh, how it's going to be powered, right? And this one is actually really easy because all we need to do is copy and paste this method that we have right here because it is in fact exactly the same the same so we are going to do a public void on neighbor block change um, And how do we want to do this? How do we want to do this? On block neighbor change. Well, we're going to have world, so we'll just put it in as world. World, world, and we're going to have our coordinates. And then there's one more, and that is going to be the... No, we don't even use it, so it's not really a big deal. We'll just, we'll just put it as a part one. Um int x, int y, int z, and then we'll just say int bar one. And to do that up. So right here, what we can do is we can actually just copy, paste, dunzo. Dunzo, let's make sure we get our uh, semicolons in there so that way we're not bugging out. Um, the next thing we need to do is we need to drop the correct um, when, or uh, excuse me, no, actually we need to uh, do update ticks. Update ticks, I forgot about that. Where's my mouse? There's my mouse. We need to do update ticks. Public void um, update tick, and that is going to come from world world, and we're going to have int x, int y, in C, and we're going to have a random, 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 like so. We'll import random. Yep, like so. And um, what we want to do is kind of, kind of like what we just did up above. Really, what we're what we're doing is saying, hey, if this is if this stops getting power, we need to we need to flip it off, right? So if um, calm down, son, you lunatic, are you winning, son? Are you winning? Uh huh. So 
so if the inverted world, so if this world is not remote and um, the block is powered and the, in, uh, the world, wor world dot is block indirectly getting powered on the X, on the Y, on the Z, we are going to say that world dot set block set block and this is the one where we need six again on our x our y our z and we're going to say the idle version of our block off dot zero dot two like so like so yay um, now we're going to do our drop now we'll do our drop so we're going to say um, public item um, get item dropped um, I don't think that's it I don't think that's it uh, yeah that's it what, what am I what am I what am I talking about um he's crazy that way um uh uh yeah yeah um this actually calls for an int but we don't need an int anymore so we'll just put if i um and uh random random the reason that it, this method actually has an integer in it, I believe, is because it used to call on the block ID back in the old school days. Uh, yep, we want item. And here we are going to return um, item dot get item from block. And that is going to be our idle version. We don't want to pick up the powered version of this of this of this lamp, right? We so when we when we bang on it and it goes kapui, we only ever want the off version. We don't want the on version. It's kind of like we'd like we did with the furnace. We don't want the furnace to drop and us get the the cooking version, right? We don't want that. Um. Next thing we need is a create stacked block. I'm not sure why we want this, but protected item stack create create stacked block int i um, return new item stack and this will be our idle version of our lamp block purple lamp off imports one more thing that we need to do here um, or is there yes there is we need to create some new textures so I'm making a purple lamp right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a border like so and we'll make that a dark gray and then on the inside we'll make it this really beautiful purple color like so now what we want to do is so we will actually do this and save as and I have my stuff in a different location now because I derped everything up yeah that's over there in Susanna so um yeah I dorked that whole thing up dumb 
Dum 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 dum. Assets Neocraft Textures box. Purple all amp on. Like so. And then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to highlight the inside of this. And then I'm going to come back up to our hue and saturation. And we're going to change the lightness. We're going to make it quite a bit lighter. Like so. So this will be the off version. Right? And then the other one will be the on version. Sweet. Um, so now what we want to do is uh, we are going to do something a little bit like we did with our oven. Uh, why did I pull up Googles? I don't need Googles. So we are going to do um, public, uh, we don't need to capitalize that, but we do need to spell it right, void register block icons. And this is going to be um, I I can register register balls. We're going to name this I can register as is our want. It's what we usually do, and we are going to say this dot block icon um, is going to equal um, icon register dot register icon. And it is going to be neocraft neocraft dot mod ID plus one of those. And we are going to say this dot is on. And if it is on, we are going to say that we want purple lamp on. However, if it's not, we are going to want purple lamp off. Just like so. Did we do that right? We may have one too many of those, or no, we need that. So there we go. Let's give this a whirl. Purple black on. Purple lamp on. Right? Whoa. Whoa, oh, you know what I need to do? I need to save this. And yeah, yeah. Not protected. Public. This should work. Let's give it a roll. Let's give it a whirl. We're starting on biome soon. Just so you know. Um, so, new worlds. New worlds are coming our way. Oh, we want to leave the lights off. Excuse me. And. Ah! Oh, I'm a dumb shit. Ah, I'm a dumb shit. You goofy bastard. Lamps. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, let's we'll just do it this way. Game registry dot dot register block block purple lamp on purple lamp on like so, we can copy. What? And uh, off. Stupid cat on on the furniture. Now let's give it a try. Let's see what happens. Do we have it? 
Me too! Yay! Didn't name it. Now we need one of these. Just put a lever on top of here. And nothing. Well, that's no fun. Well, let's find out what's going on. Let's go, let's find out what's going on here, okay? Um. Uh, I'm just going to look over this code real fast, real quickly. Mm. Oh, sleepy boy. Um, yeah, I'm going to stop for a sec. And I'll come back in a moment. We'll get... Okay, I figured it out. So, a couple of things, actually. I had a bunch of spaces in here, and that doesn't really affect the functionality of it for some reason. I think I'd be getting errors there, but I didn't. And uh, this actually isn't an int. It was an int in 164. Went and looked at the 172 code, and this is actually block, block now. So let's save that. Let's run it. Let's see what's what's cracking, what's happening. Um, and so, voila, we have our lamp. And you'll see that there's a texture change as well. Um, if we actually, you can see the, te the texture change a lot better this way. Right. Um, Away, bitch. Um, so we have a run by switch. Do a little redstone. Do a little switch action. Step on that. Sweet deal, huh? So there's our custom lamp. Our custom lamp. Beautiful. B E A U T I F U L. What's this? Oh, I, I'm gonna do that right now. Right now. Just kidding. LOL. Um. Yeah. So that's our episode, folks. I think I'm gonna do a little bit more today. Um. I think I'm gonna do a multiple input furnace. A two input furnace. I'll kind of show you how you can tinker with it to make it a multi-input. Then we'll uh, then we'll do multi-input as well. And then you can use your combined knowledge to combine them together. It'll be sweet. Can you set a witch on fire? I thought this used to be a thing where you could like use a flint and steel to set like a baddie on fire. I think this is bullshit that you can't. You can set wool on fire though. And that's cool. What about in here? Ooh, you know what? Let's do this. Let's push a skeleton down that hole. Come back, you son of a bitch. Anyways. Anyways. Oh, you know what? If we need to light this place up, we can just use one of our lamps. Um, I'd really like to get one of those skeletons and push them down the hole, but whatevs. So anyways, my name's Neil. I'm your boy. Not really. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. We recorded an episode. I recorded an episode. You learned from an episode. All is great. 
I've done my bit, you've done your bit. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all later.